So, hello ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today to share my, uh, our experience on creating the pluggable crypto, crypto provider for Ethereum nodes, and which we used in uh, Master Chain project. So, who we are? I'm Dmitry Boshko. I'm the um, crypto core developer at Master Chain project. And the one man who I want to introduce who unfortunately couldn't come uh, here to this um, great com conference, it's Alexei Troshichev, and uh, he's Master Chain architect. So what is Master Chain? Master Chain is a Russian national platform uh, for storing and exchanging financial data based on blockchain technology. So uh, the two key words in this definition is national and blockchain. So we've chosen uh, the public Ethereum protocol for, uh, as a basis for a master chain project. Why we do that? Because the first uh, Ethereum protocol have a large experience with work in the wild. Uh, of course, it has supports, it has a smart contracts. Uh, and it has a big, uh, big community. It had a big community and has big community, and this community grows and solves many, many new issues. So uh, uh, this platform wouldn't be abandoned. Uh, so what is Master Chain? It's a fork. It's a fork of uh, public Ethereum protocol. Uh, it also supports, of course, smart contracts. And the uh, main difference is it uh, based on Ghost Crypto. Ghost Crypto is, stands for Government Standards Crypto. Uh, it is the main uh, standard in Russian Federation for all cryptography. Uh, if you're interested, you could uh, just read the white paper for Master Chain Project. The, uh, this link is for this white, white paper. So, why we have to use the custom cryptography? Uh, the second and the, uh, the, the first and the main, it is because only government standards, crypto algorithms have legal power. So if you want to build any system which involves any kind of cryptography, your cryptography in Russian Federation should be the ghost. And not just only your own implementation of ghost. It's, it has to be certified by uh, Russian Federal Security Services. Uh, not only your, not not only, uh, not even your only step, or your solution has to be certified by FSB. Yet, but mm, but cryptography is uh, definitely uh, that kind what you need to certify it, uh, in Russian Federation. So there are only few, uh, only certified crypto service providers have to be used. And uh, you can say, whoa, you, I, can, I can implement the ghost myself and get and certify it. No, you, you could probably do that, but it's extremely, extremely difficult. That's why only a few vendors of CSPs are presented in the market, in the Russian market. So we used for our project is uh, CryptoProd CSP 4.0. And uh, what's, what's the main difference? What, what does uh, Ghost Crypto Algorithms family consists? Uh, the first one is the hash function. The hash function uh, is Ghost R34.11.212. It calls Strebuck calls for a uh, Slavic god, and it has two modes, 256 bits and 512 bits. But in our project master chain, we used uh, only 256 bits. So the second is the uh, CDSA algorithms for digital signature. Uh, it calls GHOST R3410-2012, and it doesn't have the specific nickname. Uh, it supports 256-bit uh, curves uh, and 512-bit uh, curves uh, with different param sets for each curve. So we used 256-bit curve uh, with the param set A. 
Uh, also, it has a symmetric K-block cipher, uh, still still running GOS 24147, uh, developed in 89, in 1989. It calls Magma. Uh, there has a new, th there is a new uh, modern algorithm uh, which were built in 215. It calls Kuznetsk. Uh, but he still doesn't have the certified implementation, so we couldn't use it. Uh, and the last operation, it's the bunch, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, several operations uh, tra for transport security, the Diffie-Hellman scheme, and uh, uh, it works with uh, its DSA ghost algorithm and with symmetric uh, K-block cipher with Magma. And uh, in CryptoProd CSP, there is a, a, a certified implementation of TLS protocols. So we, we've we uh, decided to choose this one uh, for, for our project. So what was Ethereum crypto uh, undercover uh, before we started? Uh, we started at uh, version 1.5. Uh, and looks like it was a big mess because there were a uh, crypto module which uh, had a wrapper for crypto hashes, for its EDSA, ATSIS implementation, and uh, for implementation of uh, Curve SecP 256K1 uh, built for Bitcoin. Uh, and it uh, wraps all, all those functions in one crypto module. But suddenly there were uh, redundant calls from P2P communication system, from mining system, from EVM, directly calls to those, uh, to those functions. So we decided to redesign it. We've built a single crypto adapter uh, which were transparent for all BL business logic uh, nodes, business logic calls. Uh, this crypto adapter uh, have unified calls to a wrapper interface, and uh, each each uh, library like uh, CSP wrapper, like Ghost R wrapper, or any other wrapper you can you can write your, by your own. Uh, <coughs> Uh, so each each of this wrapper I implements the this wrapper interface and wraps the exactly the exactly library. So first we've uh, choose the open source source Ghost R so we can just uh, test that uh, all functions that were present in the original Ethereum are uh, switchable to the new cryptography. Uh, so, and then after that, we've built that CSP wrapper for a uh, third party library, CryptoProd CSP, which is a black box for us. Uh, and uh, this scheme is uh, kind of work very good. So, and uh, it builds like that, so you can uh, r uh, implement your own crypto wrapper. Uh, which would wrap your uh, wrap your own crypto library. Uh, in fact, you can uh, do the mix mode, use the uh, NIST cryptography or Ghost cryptography uh, in the same way. So, what have exactly we switched to from Ethereum to Master Chain? Uh, the three types of hashes. Uh, SHA-256, SHA-3, in two modes, 256 bits and 512 bits. We switched it to Streebug. Uh, it's CDSA uh, and SECP-256K1. Uh, We've switched to Ghost CDSA with a 256-bit curve with Paramset A. And uh, we've redeveloped the eCrecover function. Uh, I will tell you um, a bit more later on the next slide about this. But uh, we've implemented the compressed signature for uh, Ghost, Ghost algorithm family. Uh, so eCrecover works now uh, very good. It recovers the pop key from compressed signature. But then you have to uh, verify it with the certified uh, verification function from the CSP. 
So uh, it also it also has a to, uh, it also works with uh, 256 bit curves with param set A uh, on master chain. The uh, symmetric uh, cryptography, uh, which were used in RLPX encryption uh, between the communication of two nodes, uh, it was ACE. Uh, it uh, switched to uh, Magma symmetric ci ciphers with uh, 256 bits K. Uh, and block size of 64 bits for Magma, uh, switched from 124 bits from ACE. And, uh, of course, we, we've uh, read out of RLPX, uh, RLPX encryption. Uh, why that? Uh, as I thought, uh, as I said, if you have, uh, if you have uh, certified implementation of one part of uh, uh, any, any cryptographic function, it doesn't mean that the whole solution are certified by itself. So that's why we have to, uh, we have two ways. Uh, the first way is trying to certify in FSB uh, the whole RLPX encryption protocol, or just switched it to uh, certified TLS. So we've, we've choose the second one uh, and the uh, Ethereum protocol in communication, RLP, uh, is um, uh, so we just we just switch the encryption. Uh, anything uh, which is going through our stands like in the original Ethereum. So about compressed signature, because of uh, the different different algebra when you're working with the curves in uh, GOS standard, uh, we have to uh, reproduce uh, compressed signature which was used in uh, NIST curves uh, in Bitcoin and in Ethereum. So we, we did find a way, we, uh, but it was some, something interesting because uh, a recover function was created without modification of original certified CSP. But that's why we have to, uh, we have to call the verification function on this. Uh, so first of all, you, uh, you're going to restore the pop key from the compressed signature. And then you uh, have to uh, you have to give the uh, verification function the original signature and the restored pop key. So that that uh, solution would be certified. And the last one we've uh, implemented nodes whitelist as a smart contract for authorized communication and for authorized mining. Uh, it was it was a requirement for uh, uh, fintech association. So, uh, crypto algorithms compliant with these requirements can be used with uh, our crypto adapter transparently for the rest of Ethereum logic. And uh, again, the hash function in 256-bit modes. Uh, it's CDSA uh, in 256 bit with 256 bit curves. Uh, your compressed signature support with 256 bit curves, and symmetric block cipher with uh, key with 256 bits and block size 128 or 64 bits. And uh, uh, if you implement your own TLS protocol, uh, you should do it because uh, you cannot uh, you cannot communicate with nodes in master chain without uh, this implementation. So uh, was glad to uh, talk about some cryptography. So you can ask some questions for me. Uh, right, right after this presentation. Have a nice day.